So we understand that you have some very strong tips on how to not just get in the business but stay there. You've talked to a lot of actors. Yeah, I, I would consult actors, beginning actors in New York. Uh, some of them would be like, how did you do this? How did you get the Jay-Z commercial? How did you get an agent? How did you... And I, I would give them tips, you know? But the first tip is this. Go get good at acting. <laughs> go take a class. Go take multiple classes. Go do improv. Just go get good at acting. Because that's how you're going to book work. You're going to go into the room and you're going to kill an audition and that's where you're going to book work. Unless you're a ridiculously looking, good looking person and you just go in and just someone wants to sleep with you and yeah, you're going to book work doing that too. But if you really want to be a working actor in this business, go get good. So call the best teachers, call the best acting coaches and go work on your craft. The next thing is go be marketable, meaning present yourself in a marketable way. Get an acting actor reel. It, when you have footage, how do you get footage? It, if you don't have an agent or a manager, go do student films. This is a perfect opportunity to go practice what you're working on. And actually the pressure is low to know. It's like you do a student film and you, you don't do well in it. Guess who's gonna watch it? Nobody, okay? The students are gonna watch it. So go practice your craft at doing you know independent stuff. Um, a lot of people, it just irks me when people are like, oh, that's a student film, I'm not gonna do that. You're not, oh, oh really? You're not gonna do that? Because who are you again? Like, who are, are you like some like working actor who can turn down work? No, you're gonna do that student film because you're not a good actor or maybe you are a good actor but you still need the practice. Do not turn down work. It's an opportunity. You should be grateful. There are millions of actors out there who don't do, who don't work at all. You know, that student film that was offered to you, that role, make the most of it. Try something new. You know, ri take risks. Ugh, God, I just get frustrated sometimes with actors who say they're actors and they are turning down work because there's no money. There's no money. In the beginning, there is no money. You're not doing this for money. You're doing this because you love it and you want to get better. And it's inspirational. You're not doing it because, you know, the student film only pays you $50 a day. Give me a break. Even that, $50 a day to, to what, to act? Awesome. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, tips. So go get a good acting coach. Go get better at acting. Uh, do student films, you know, to, to make stuff for, uh, for your reel. Uh, what else? And surround yourself, uh, surround yourself with artistic people who are like you and love, love the art. Because if you surround yourself with people who are, have the like, are like-minded as you, you're going to get better. I probably have, I could say, four or five actor friends. And all of them have the same beliefs that I do about acting. And it's, it's we do it or we die. It's like, I, I want to do this for the rest of my life. But there's not, no other option. And that's, I don't know, and, we're, we're, and they're creative and brilliant. And you want to surround yourself with, with people who are better than you or more talented with you than you. Because then you get better. You rise to their level. And um, yeah, there's a lot of actors I look up to and I aspire to be like.